Lane's gonna get us going. I just want to say I thank the Lord in heaven for sending his son uh, to be my savior. We, I need him so much. I need him every day. Um, that, that's it. Just thank you, Father. Twofold. One is uh, thanks for the blessing for obviously our little girls that we have. Second is there's kind of a prayer request I'd like to ask for. There's a couple little girls in our community and their families, if you all would pray for them and lift them up. I'm not going to go into any more detail than that, but just have them in your thoughts and prayers, if you would, please. Thank you. We know that uh, just, yeah, we'll get Brenda to, to get, is Katie going to come too? Okay. Um, appreciate what the the policemen and stuff and those that are in our community, other services that they do and that they, things that they know that we can't know, but being faithful about just even telling us that there's somebody that we need to be lifting up. We don't need to know their name, do we? The Lord knows who it is, so we'll just be faithful about raising it up. So we, we thank the Lord for Thank the Lord for that. Brenda and Katie, you're both coming up together? Okay. It's been a kind of a rough week in one aspect. Um, Cole was sentenced this week. Um, but I was, as I was doing my hair this morning, I was thinking about if it had been a year ago that we had suffered the sentencing, I guess. Um, we would have all just fallen apart. And, and I'm glad that it was this week and not a year ago this week. Um, we've come a long way only because of God. And he's got this in his hands. He's got this in his hands. And it's going to be okay. And we're just grateful and praising him that um, he is in this. He is this. And um, Romans 28, 828, sorry. Romans 8, 28, everything works for the good. And uh, my dream last night was any indication. I can't wait. Thank you, Lord. She mentioned Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And just talking about, talking about Cole, and I've visited him uh, over at the jail and stuff at, on different occasions, and uh, go over and ready to prepare to maybe share the scripture with him. Uh, but he came at me with Romans 8.28. Because mom, mama had uh, talked with him about it. So I know that it's on his heart and what he's thinking too. The Lord is good, isn't he? Really, really good. And he, he, he answers prayer. Just uh, go along with what Elaine said for just a minute. Elaine came over to our house one, one night this week. I think it was Monday. And we just spent a little time with her opportunity to pray about some things specifically. But I have to say that she came and we were able to pray together specifically for some things and do you know how long it, it it took for us to begin to see some things happen through that how long did it take Shelley the very next day and if Elaine had to come over and we hadn't prayed for those specific things right there the Lord answers prayer and it and it's pretty amazing and it's pretty great and she was being, when she came over to our house, she was being obedient to the Lord because the Lord was telling her to come over to our house. So I just say that that was uh, uh, her being obedient and praying together. The Lord begins to do great things, and it's pretty awesome. So uh, any other uh, testimonies? You want to come? Why don't you come? Brother Paul. I just want to give thanks to God. It seems like this week has been a week of trials, not just for me, but for a lot of people. And I just want to praise him for um, giving us those trials. 
uh, to make us stronger and to bring us closer to God and closer to each other um, just through those and, and strengthening my relationship with him um, and just understanding that God provides for all of our needs and, and answers prayer. Again, uh, not just the answer that we want to hear, but it's answered nonetheless. And um, I just praise God for the things that he does in my life and all of our lives and the blessings that he gives us. Shannon, <clears throat> he's coming. Mm -hmm. Well, I have praised today. Um, the, the Lord is doing a mighty work in me with priorities. And this has been like, I would say, a, well, a, especially a 10-year journey um, since I changed jobs and ended up at the SLC. But this week was really awesome because I served the Lord more than I served Park County School District number one. <laughs> and uh, that's, a, that's a really big deal for me because I'm kind of a workaholic and um, that's been a real struggle my whole life and with my family. And if I do, there was a time when I would do something for someone else, I would have so much guilt about being away from you know, my duties at home or at work, that it would just steal the joy right out of it. And um, this last week was great. I, I spent time with multiple people from the church and just being, um, just being a servant to the Lord and spending time and working hard. But it was working hard for the Lord, and I feel great. And uh, I used some muscles that I haven't used in a while. But... Um, I just give all the glory to him for, you know, I don't know that the ladies that I was helping this week realize that I, it's a big deal for me to not go to work um, or to not be at my own home and have it completely in order before I would go to help someone else get their home in order. But that's just been by the grace of God that I've grown into that type of a servant. And, um, and I just really thank him for that. It brings a lot of joy. Putting other people before yourself, and that's tough, isn't it? But the joy that comes with it. And um, Shannon is a, a, an encourager and a builder-upper type person, too. And I think in that gift and things that she was doing, some of that's going on. And she testified the joy that it brings to your heart. So when you're doing the, and get, using the gifts that God's given you, boy, it brings a joy like nothing else. And it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Thank you for sharing. I, I thank you for that, being available. Anybody else want to come share this morning? Anybody just want to cry? Do you feel like that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> anybody wiping your, I mean, you, you feel like that, that testimonies kind of, kind of hit you and stuff too, and it's real, isn't it? God is real in the way that he's working in our lives, and that is pretty, pretty special. Any men, did any men, any men have a, like a, we're pretty good about not letting ourselves cry as much? And we get kind of that lump in our throat. Any men have one of those lumps in your throat or whatever? <laughs> How about ladies? Any of you ladies? It's good to cry. It's okay, isn't it? It's okay. And it took, took me a long time to be able to get there. Josh. Yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> I can walk alone now. <laughs> Amen. I was hoping that, that, that Josh would say that and I wouldn't have to say anything. Um, but when they came in, um, Connie and Josh wanted to show me that he was on one side of kind of that fellowship area room there. And she let go of him, got rid of the cane, and he walked all the way across that room to where, to where Connie was at. So, I mean, that's a, that's a great thing, great feat for him. And encouraging his heart to that they're 
He's gaining, right? Little trouble making the corner still, right? Making that turn, but I think the Lord's going to do it. I think you're going to be able to do it. So we give the Lord glory for that, for the health that he's getting back just each, each day, each day. Thank you, Lord. Other, other testimonies, anybody else want to share? I thought maybe Savannah was raising her hand, but she's, she's looking through the window. <laughs> all right if not we'll go to our uh, our next hymn don't want to cut it short says it really is so important even if we i know we've gotten on ourselves at times testimonies this week went 30 minutes or something but it doesn't matter does it we're sharing we're sharing our hearts with one another and we love one another when we need to hear from one another don't we we do um, one more time. Lord, got a hold of your heart. You need to come. You need to come up. Okay.